Hello everyone, it is time for something very, very time consuming. Namely, a fight against a magic master on the top of um, Autist's Tower in Final Fantasy VI. And, um, well, I'm showing you my setup here. Uh, although some of it will not be necessary. Re-raise, of course, you can see after the number percent I can't use it for this height. Um, and I'm looking for someone who has Berserk. You do. So that's going to be important in this uh, fight. Also, Rasp and Osmos, because my strategy will... Well, my approach, I should say, to this fight is... Uh, to create his MP pool instead of his eight people. Uh, yeah. This boss is unique in that way. It dies if you grant both HP or MP. I think the only other game that has such a system is uh, Star Ocean 3. Um, in here in Final Fantasy 6, it is, I'm pretty sure, unique to this one boss. I am not aware of it happening at any other time in the game. Uh, anyway, when I first saw this, I thought it was a very creepy <laughs> scene. Uh, the music didn't help, by the way, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, yeah. Um, what to do? So I decided to cast Carbuncle for whatever reason. Um, of course, if the enemy now casts magic on us, well, at least while Reflect is up, it would of course bounce back to him. Um, most enemies at this location, I am told, will set up a reflect on themselves and bounce magic off of themselves instead of doing like the guy did now. So, yeah. Essentially, what I'm going to do is cast Berserk on him, then uh, just start using Rasp and Osmos until the cows come home, pretty much. Um, that takes a while. I don't remember how long exactly, but uh, let's just say it takes a lot longer than you see in this episode. So um, when I have that rhythm down um, and that guy's berserked, I will make a cut. So uh, that you don't have to see me just cast Rasp for like 15 minutes straight. I think it does take that long. Maybe it even, maybe it even takes 20 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's long though. So yeah, that those barrier changes they uh, of course add a whole lot to um, <laughs> to the time spent in this fight. Uh, he'll use that as a counter move whenever you hit him with a spell. I uh, and uh, look at look at the timer here on um, <laughs> Realm. <laughs> when it uh, hits zero, I. Well, I don't know if that was Petrify or Doom, but some of her accessories will protect her, protect her against that. So, pff, no time limit there.
and yeah now the boss has something like three yeah okay <laughs> 1800 mp left um yeah so we have this in the bag at long last And, uh, of course, as I said before, um, once we are done with this fight, the uh, next engaging story will be uh, getting down from the top of the tower. Because we can't use teleport to just leave, like, easily and stuff. No, we have to go all the way back down. And uh, for that part of the journey, by the way, you will be very, very grateful to have a little shot. So, will you forgive me if I uh, take care of some uh, email correspondence in the meantime? Ah, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. We are out. Okay, so uh, where do I want to go next? Okay, well, we can take that off long, sure.
right. Um, this is actually the part where we recruit the Gogo. However, I have said before that I do not have any interest in Gogo as a character. And, well, yeah, this is how you uh, enter the dungeon for those who didn't know. You run into this guy here and let him. Uh, um, I think the attack was called Engulf in the original translation. I don't quite remember what they used here, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, I will not recruit Gogo. I will, <laughs> in fact, not even finish the dungeon. Um, I am just here for a few items. That's the ending of it. Let's pull it. Right, so... <clears throat> uh, to exit this, <clears throat> this dungeon, go up there into the light and you will be transported outside. Uh, wow, uh, I just suddenly went very hoarse. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Squeeze me. The people here will cast zombie at you, or hit you with a zombie inducing attack. Much fun. So I suck at this bit. That is basically the only reason I uh, will not be <laughs> completing this uh, dungeon in this playthrough. It just got too annoying at the end, I'm sorry to say. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I will get all the items at this screen, I think. Uh, but the... Uh, the rest of the items in here, I can uh, honestly do without. They are not critical, they are not missable, not unique in any way. The only thing uh, that is only possible to get here is Gogo. And yeah. I will pass. Gogo is not worth this much trouble. At least, it, <laughs> yeah, I struggle that much with <laughs> with this dungeon myself. So yeah, it's my playthrough. I'll do what I want. Um, and to be honest, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this episode. Uh, probably, I don't have anything else to say. Period. So I'll just cut the commentary here, and you can um, I don't know. Relish in my uh, suckitude <laughs> or something. 
And, um, well, be back for next episode. Uh, uh, we will then head off to uh, uh, Doma Castle. Um, that'll be an interesting... <laughs> Uh, an, an interesting part of the game. Um, it's not the Odin side quest, it is the uh, uh, it Magus Sisters? Yeah, I think so. I think it's my Magus Sisters. Yeah, well, anyway, the Delta attack shenanigans. Uh, we'll see. Um, I will be entertained, we will be worded out, I suppose. Um, see you in the next episode. Plain and simple.